This video is a direct continuation of the previous two Kihon Mechanics videos. Kihon Mechanics 6, Mechanical Engineering Concept for Fast and Strong Karate Blocks, and Kihon Mechanics 7, Training Shutoke. In my previous video, I explained on how I apply mechanical engineering concepts onto karate blocks, primarily Shutoke. I also explained the differences between Nahate and Shurite, and how Shitoryu blends the two. And that it is this combination that makes Shitori techniques particularly difficult to learn. I also explained how to train the Shitoke with these mechanical engineering principles, but I did it very briefly. So in this video, I will be going into the details with the do's and the don'ts. We're finally adding in the stance, the Nikoshigachi, or the cat stance. Here, we will be going through the stages that we went through on Heikodachi, but this time on Nikoshigachi, including using the hips. So assuming that most of you watching know how to do the Nikoshigachi, I'll be explaining it very briefly. So number one, stand on Musubidachi, that is your heels, together and toes apart, roughly pointing 30 degrees away. Then take one foot and place it directly in front of the heel, pointing forward as far as you can without needing to bring the body forward. So from sideways, from Musulaji, as far as you can without bringing the body forward, drop it directly in front of the knee. Number three, do a half squat right here. So this is your Dikosh Dachi. To test whether it's correct, if you bring your front leg back and hook it here, there's no shift of body weight. For example, this would be wrong from here, and it's a shift for me balance. It must be already here. You can also practice the binary front leg here. We go through all the stages. For training on the single side as we did on Heikodachi, but this time on Nikoshidachi. Here. So when you're in the intermediate position, your chest is facing forward and your hips too. When you're at complete position, your hips are rotated up. So from here to here. From here to here. So you may need to practice rotating the hips on Nikoshidachi first. One, two. And you have to make sure that the knee doesn't wobble in and out, in and out. And do it on this side as well. Rotate in, rotate out. Once you get this all right, both sides, you now practice on alternating hands consecutively, and that would mean stepping forward. So from here, so this is how you step forward on Nikoshidachi with Shotoke, step by step. So starting from Nikoshidachi Shotoke, number one, drop your heel at an angle pointing outwards. Then place the back foot forward, bringing your body forward, of course. Directly place it in front of your heel of the other foot and point it forward. Now, by doing this, automatically my chest will be pointing front. And notice that my hand immediately falls into the intermediate position without any extra movement. All you need to do is, as you step forward, make sure that the front hand just stays in position. As for the other arm, make sure the elbow area of the arm stays in contact and protecting the ribs. Following these two rules naturally, you will find yourself in the intermediate position and complete. Go through 
the same process of sequencing, connecting, and combining. The sequencing would be one and two. One and two. Connecting would be one, two. One, two. Combining would be So thank you for watching to the end. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please leave a comment below and give a like. If you think there's anything to add, also please leave a comment below. Please subscribe and share. If you're a Shitorio practitioner, or if you're not a Shitorio practitioner, but plan to do Shitorio katas for competition, then this is very crucial. Nikwashashi Shitoke is found in almost every Shitorio kata.